What's going on guys? Welcome back, Max here. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we're going to be checking out the final fight scene from Fist of Legend, starring Jet Li and Billy Chow. Uh, fun fact for this one, when I looked it up on IMDb, Billy Chow's character is named uh, General Fujita, but in brackets he's called Supreme Killer. So, <laughs> so I'm really excited to see what he does on screen to earn that name. Anyway guys, I'm excited. Jet Li, how can you not be? Hope you guys are too. Let's go. Oh no. It's not a bad dub. <laughs> I love that he's still holding the sign, just stands his ground. <laughs> he's going all rod tang on him. Oh, oh, nice little hand trap. I like that. Swing wide, pull the hand out. Boom, big elbow. <laughs> He's certainly intimidating. <laughs> oh. Hey, that was a nice little counter. Take the body shot, ride it out, and go for the head kick. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder how practical that kick would be in real life. You know what? Okay, so that one there. Punching someone up here is can like is very likely to break your hand. That's why you have guys uh, get into fights all the time. They're like, oh, I punched the dude so hard, he, I broke my hand. It's because either A, they're punching wrong, or B, the guy tucked his head and they hit up here. This part of your head's really hard, and it's one solid bone, whereas your hand has lots of little bones. So if you punch wrong or punch up high, that will 100% like, well, has a chance to break your hand. <laughs> That's a brutal sidekick. Ah, Jet Li to save the day. This was 1994 this movie came out. And so far, the uh, the old like fighting effects are holding up. Some of these movies, you watch them again, they just look so bad and outdated. But this looks great. Ah, it doesn't he barely even moves? <laughs> oh, hey, using the forearms to block. Yes, Jet Li knows what's up. Beautiful lean. That was a sick counter to the lean back, eh? Pull the leg back, go for the axe kick. <laughs> he just kicked through that post, didn't even flinch. I like this guy. I know he's a bad guy, but the character's badass. <laughs> Oh, I was about to say, at least he's using the arm, not the hand. Alright, Jet Li goes to the big kick, comes down the middle. Stop. No. <laughs> this guy must have trained left away. He's using those headbutts with some efficiency. <laughs> Imagine running at someone, flying, kicking them, and they don't even move. Damn, what a jawline he has. If you learn to be fluid, to adapt, you will be unbeatable. Oh shit, the plot armor just kicked in. Yes! Oh, they're both fighting lefty. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Almost like uh, Jet Li's version of the Three Stooges. <laughs> this fight's so fast paced, I love it. Oh, excellent. 
Parry the punch, step outside, bring the kick up underneath the, under the chin or under the eye. A oh, little Muay Thai, some elbows and knees. Oh. That one's gonna leave a mark on the shin. Ah. I love that this guy's toughened up his neck and is able to just block things with his throat. I'm assuming he's supposed to be Japanese and the stoicness kind of goes with the culture there. Nice little exchange. <laughs> Go on, hit me, I dare you. Come on. Oh, steps underneath. Yeah, that rock broke real easy. That was a sick little counter, though. Step underneath, catch it. Like, uh, I don't go underneath kicks. Like, I wouldn't go underneath the kick and try and catch on the other side. But catching underneath the leg and sweeping like that, absolutely an option. Oh! Look the way he throws the kick, too. You see the hip leading? It's a beautiful kick. He's gonna get kicked in the shoulder again, and that's gonna pop it back into place. He's gonna fight one handed even better. Oh. <laughs> again with that cheeky little slip outside the right hand and bring the foot up to the face. It's a beautiful counter, stepping outside that straight and bringing the kick to the front there. I like to go to the leg with that one, but if you can get to the head with it, even better. Oh, can't see because of the blood in his eye. <laughs> Oof. Damn, I love the way these guys' round kicks just send each other flying. <laughs> A little unnecessary board breakage. All right, he's got blood in the eye, can't see. Jet Li has to go around to that side. But that side's dislocated, so what's he gonna do? Oh, beautiful little head movement there. <laughs> it looks like uh, in Ip Man 3 when Donnie Yen was fighting Mike Tyson, he's just punching out the glass. There we go, popped it back in. If a guy relocates his own dislocated shoulder mid-fight, just go, just leave. Just finish it there. <laughs> I like that, the hook, get his weight over, get the head down, big knee to the face. <laughs> oh, damn. The backbreaker, no. Excellent counter. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna put something out there. Couple of shots towards the liver, there. that'll soften you up. Oh. This is so good. My heart's pounding. This is such a fast paced fight scene. I love it. And there's no dialogue, just. Oh, I've never been punched under the arm, but I assume that it hurts. It seems to be a very common thing in these movies. It's a nice little boxing stance for Jeter's got their hands up nice and high. Oh, damn. <laughs> He's gonna have a hard time using that arm later, eh? <laughs> Looking a little worse for wear. Oh! Did he hit him four times? Stepped up one spun, hit him, and then did like a double step on him to finish the kickoff and get rid of him. Alright. 
you just know the sword's coming into it. It's there on screen. It has to come into it. But as we know, if he picks up that sword, he's going to die by it. You can't bring a weapon against an unarmed protagonist. He's dead. He just signed his own death warrant. Not sure how, not sure when, but it will happen. Oh! Right through the bone. Oh. Is that a katana? A... <laughs> yes! And he uses the belt too. I love seeing a very Jackie Chan. He's wielding it like nunchucks too. Oh! Just that belt would sting so much. I don't think I've ever seen anyone look so cool swinging a belt around. Oh! Told you. I told you guys. He picked up the sword. That's it. He's done. That was a really cool way to finish it though. The belt with the sword. That was sick. And like in a, in a pinch, a belt does make a fantastic weapon. You've got the buckle there, you've got some weight to it. You can flick, keep people away. It has some distance. If you ever find yourself, you know, hopefully you never are in a situation that requires that. But a belt makes a fantastic weapon to keep people away from you in, a, in an emergency situation, right? Anyway, guys, there you go. Jet Li, Fist of Legend. And Billy Chow, of course, cannot uh, forget him. That was... He did an amazing job. Uh, if you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, let me know what we need to watch next, and then subscribe so when we get around to doing the scenes that you want to see, you don't miss out. Until the next one, guys, stay awesome. Have a great day. Bye.